Emerging from a 30-year struggle for independence, six million Eritreans need medical treatment, but there are five physicians for every 100,000 people. Talent and drive are everywhere, but poor infrastructure, low bandwidth, few computers, books, or trained librarians prevent Eritreans from getting the information they need. Eritrea is in Eastern Africa. The major concern was uh, stemming brain drain. They wanted to graduate their own physicians and then keep them in the country for continued training. We had lots of visits back and forth with the Minister of Health from Eritrea. And every time he came to GW, the first thing he said was, I want a tour of the library. And every time he left, he said, this is what we need for our students. We need them to have electronic resources. We need to have them have current resources. We need to have them have lots of information. We want them to be the best trained physicians that we have. In 2009, the Elsevier Foundation awarded $50,000 to the George Washington University Medical Center Training Project to assess how Eritrea can create a world-class medical library and graduate medical program. Our initial uh, first phase was to put together a paper-based uh, needs assessment, and we had three different forms of it, one geared toward students, one toward researchers, and a third one toward clinicians. We were in Eritrea, in Asmara, for the in-country site visits and get their first-hand perspective on what their needs were for their education or for their research. Uh, Anne had the opportunity to teach a class on Hinari resources to all of the individuals from the different groups that we met with. Through interviews and training sessions, George Washington University mapped the opportunities and obstacles to delivering top-notch health information services to Eritrean doctors, nurses, students, and researchers. And it was probably the first time that they all kind of had sat down as a team together and seen that this is something important that they should all be learning about and all working on together. And I, I know the librarians in particular felt that that was very important. The greatest challenge in Eritrea is the lack of bandwidth. The stakeholders there were able to sort of see that um, that a single library with books is not going to be their solution. That it will have to be uh, a more uh, internet-centric uh, approach. George Washington University's recommendations include training, bandwidth, textbook shortages, distance learning, as well as strengthening national collaboration and international library networks and partnerships. We got to see what, what they had, what it looked like. We saw a need for training, but we also, in all of our interviews, had that expressed, we want more training, we want to learn more, we want to learn how to do this better. It's important to hear the dean say, we need newer textbooks, we need better access to the internet, and our students, that's what we want to give our students, how can we do it? We've been able to do some of the short-term things almost immediately. We put up a list of free internet resources on our webpage that are being used by the librarians over there as they can connect to the internet. We were able to, through the foundation, connect with BookAid International, and a shipment of books has gone over to the College of Health Sciences in Eritrea, and they're very excited about that. And at this point, we're waiting to see where we can go with some of our longer-term recommendations. The road to rebuilding Eritrea's medical infrastructure is long, but the roadmap is finally there.